Hi everyone from Gusuli Farm. Today we're making DIY reusable shopping bags out of horse or chicken grain bags. Um, yes, and um, it can make it as big as this or smaller or in between. Bags from 50 pounds all the way down to 15 pound bags, grain bags. So any size, this example that I'm using is a 50 pound chicken grain bag. Uh, first, what you're going to do is just flatten it out as much as possible. This one doesn't fold perfectly. And you're going to cut off the bottom. Then you can inside out your bag. This gets a little loud. Then you want to find your side seams and get it nice and flat. It's a little dusty from the grain. Press it down enough. Okay, then I'm looking where the chicken's head is, what picture I want. So I'm going to trim off the top too. But you can trim off however much you want and whatever picture is, is exposed that you want. So some of our bags we trimmed this short, but my fork, my chicken picture is way down here, so I'm gonna trim a little more. And All right, so we've trimmed the top, and I still need to trim the bottom of my bag off. I was just looking for where my chicken picture is of what I do want on my bag. So I'm gonna give a good, good about mount more. I'm gonna hold that side right here. Right there. And she's gonna hold it for me so I can get a nice straight cut. This is gonna be the bottom of my bag. Now we can use this later for handles, so we're gonna set that aside. Now, first thing we're gonna do with our sewing machine is we're gonna sew right across something heavy we really don't want it to break now this is just good plain cotton thread that we're using it's nothing thick because sometimes they do get jammed in the machine okay so we sewed the bottom of the bag now we need to fold it more like a rectangle so we're looking for two triangles at each corner. So it can be like a paper bag or a reusable bag. You want the seam to fold the same way, both triangles that I'm creating. And your triangle should be about six inches. So you're gonna need a ruler and a pen or something to mark it. So I'm looking for about three in the middle of my seam. Another thing that's ha handy to watch is when you fold your triangle down that you're matching the side seam as well. So that looks pretty good. And I just need the six inches, a little more than six inches. And that looks good too. I'm gonna go a little more. Okay. And then I'm going to sew these lines right here. Okay, so now I'm just sewing the triangle lines that I created. And you really 
I only have to sew these triangles once though. Okay, so we've sewed down both our triangles. It's starting to look like an inside out bag, as you can see. This is probably gonna, this is gonna be a larger one. Um, I could have made it shorter if I wanted, but it is a big chicken picture. So what you're gonna do next is you're taking the top of your, your bag and you're going to fold it down however much you want. I'm gonna fold it down about an inch all the way around. And then the next thing we're going to do is create a handle. So this was the bottom piece that we clipped off. So what you're gonna do is I find where the seam is. Oh, I usually do. Here it is. And I clip there. And then we're going to turn this into a handle. So it's actually, well, it'll work. I thought it might be a little too thick. You can really just eyeball it. Let's see what it turns out to be. So about, it's a little over four inches. Maybe four inches would be ideal. And so what you're doing is you're crossing it over like this, and you're gonna go all the way down the whole sheet. Uh, let's see, I had pins. Here they are. Okay, so you're pinning it, bobby pinning it down as you go so it'll be easier to sew. So I'm just gonna go down the hole, pinning it down, just about four pins to hold it. And again, this is gonna be our handle for our shopping bag. Okay, so now I'm gonna take it over to the sewing machine. And then I just keep going and I just go around. And I go back the other way. Okay, so we finished sewing our handle. So this is the two handles. So next step is I'm going to Fold it down the middle and I'm gonna cut it. It would be a good idea to go back and reinforce these two. I'll do that later. Um, next thing, we've still got our inside out bag. I folded it down about a, half, an inch from the top and now we need to find the middle. So I've got my corner seams of the bags lined up and I'm really just gonna find the middle of the bag. You could measure it, I guess, if you wanted to, but this is how I do it. So that's the middle of my bag. And then I'm going to put the handle at each side like this, and we could measure it to get a little more exact. So I'm going to start with this one here and take your pins again. And then like I do this, I fold the handle the way I want it. And then to be a little more precise, I'm gonna measure I guess I could have measured out three inches. That would have been easier. But two and a half works too. So I'm two and a half away from there. And I'm gonna pin. Okay, now you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm flipping it over and it's easier this way. Now I'm just gonna line up with what we already have. 
Okay, so I pinned down my handles and now I'm ready to sew. So you're just gonna sew all the way around. When you go over each handle, I just go over it about three times. So I'll go in reverse, back and forth. Um, just make sure that handle is really good and tight on there. So I always start at the, the corner or the diagonal. I guess you'd call it the seam of the bag. And then you're just going back and forth over your handle. I'm gonna slide my pin out now. did notice when um, sewing on these bags it's really easy it's easy and even easier than fabric because it just slides right along the sewing machine so I'm just gonna keep on sewing here so I sewed all around the top and I reinforced back and forth around our handles so they'd be nice and tight and the last part is we're gonna um, inside out our back So I just pushed in my corners so the bag would stand up nice and straight. And there's our next bag. And that's how we make our do-it-yourself reusable bags. Thanks for watching.